our most essential learning competencies for this lesson is to trace the path of typhoons that enter the park using a map and a tracking data. Good day learners! I'm your teacher Kat and I will be your science teacher for this lesson. For today's lesson, we are going to discuss and we are going to learn on how to trace and track the path of tropical cyclone that enters the park or the Philippine area of responsibility using the map and the tracking data. We all know that the Philippines is very vulnerable to extreme weather condition because of its geographical location. According to PAGASA or the Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical Astronomical Services Administration, around 20 tropical cyclones enter the PAR or the Philippine Area of Responsibility each year, and some causes destructions to lives and properties. But what makes the Philippines a frontliner in some of the most destructive typhoons? How does tropical cyclones develop? It is because our country lies along the West Pacific Basin, which has the warmest ocean temperature in the world. Take note that the tropical cyclones need water vapor in order to form. But not all parts of the ocean provides water vapor. Thus, tropical cyclones require warm water ocean to be able to develop. According to scientists, the temperature of the ocean water must be 26.5 degrees Celsius or greater. Alright, so where do you think will the evaporation be greatest? Is it away the equator or near the equator? Of course, the area near the equator. The tropical cyclones form in the ocean. Okay, so what can you say about the temperature of the ocean in the Philippine area? Is it warm or cold? Of course, it is warm because Philippines lies near the equator. That's why our country is prone to typhoon. Now, I will show you the steps on how to track the path of the tropical cyclone. Hi, I'm Sean Zayu, the AI of Teacher Christy. In today's video, I will be talking about how to trace the path of typhoons that enter the Philippine Area of Responsibility, or PAR, using a map and a tracking data. Are you ready? Let us begin. Given the coordinates or the latitude and longitude of a tropical cyclone, PAGASA can tell if the typhoon has entered the Philippine Area of Responsibility. The Philippine Area of Responsibility is a designated area where PAGASA is tasked to monitor the occurrence of tropical cyclones. The Philippine Area of Responsibility is bounded by the following coordinates, 5 degrees north and 115 degrees east. 15 degrees north and 115 degrees east 21 degrees north and 120 degrees east 25 degrees north and 120 degrees east 25 degrees north and 135 degrees east 5 degrees north and 135 degrees east The Philippine area of responsibility, however, does not define the boundary of Philippines territory. Using a map and a tracking data, the track of typhoons can be traced. For example, Tropical Storm Juana enters the Philippine Area of Responsibility on December 10, 2014 at around 12.30 a.m. Typhoon Juana was observed at 7.50 degrees north and 130 degrees east. On same date, at 8.50 p.m., Typhoon Juana was observed at 10 degrees north and 125 degrees east. On December 11 at 11 p.m., Typhoon Juana was found at 12.50 degrees north and 117 degrees east. And on December 12 at 3.30 a.m., Typhoon Juana was observed at 13.80 degrees north and 114.50 degrees east, that is outside the Philippine area of responsibility. It means that it was on December 12 at 3.30 a.m. when Typhoon Juana leave the Philippine area of responsibility or PAR. Good morning, so this will be your instruction and activity for today. You will have a paper that will look like this on the left side, kung saan merong month, day, and time, may latitude or the north, and then may longitude, which is the east. So, ang kailangan nyo lang pong gawin ay we need to track kung saan duma dumaan si Tropical Storm Sendong. And we already know how to track 
typhoons by plotting kung saan sila dumaan. Okay, so, example, sabihin natin dito tayo kay yung ano natin, month natin ay 12-15-2018. Okay, so, sa north ay 7.50. 7.50 and then sa east ay 129.10 so 7.50 so 7.50 at saka 8 saan mas malapit si 7.50 sa 7 or sa 8 malapit na siya mag 8 so ganito mangyayari po nyan so 7.50 so this is 7 dahil 0.50 na siya instead na dito tayo Medyo uusog tayo sa taas na malapit na sa 8. So, dito na tayo. Okay? Dapat dito tayo magtatrack. At ang ating is ay 129.10. So, where is 129.10? So, si 129 and 130. San po malapit si 0.10? Sa 129 o 130? sa 129. So, mas malapit pa rin siya sa 129. Okay. So, hindi siya magiging sakto. Hindi siya magiging sakto sa line natin kasi may point 10 tayo. Okay. So, ang magiging track ng ating bagyong sendong noong December 15 is dito banda. Okay? So, pero ayoko makakita po ng line ha. Dapat ang kalalabasan lang po ng inyong pag-track ay dot lang po. Let's say dito. Okay? So, at the end of this activity, dapat may makita lang po ako dyan ng mga dot dot. Example lang to. Okay? Dot dot. Ayoko po may mga nakikita na line line. Okay? Okay? So, at the end of the activity, makikita nyo, matatrack nyo kung saan duma dumaan si Bagyong Sendong. Okay? Take your time. That will be your activity for today. So, huwag kayo magmadali para matuto talaga kayo kung paano matrack ang isang bagyo kung saan dadaan yun. Dadaan ba yun sa Luzon, sa Visayas, o dito sa Mindanao. And then, after that, you have a following questions here. Where did Sendong form? So, kapag sinabing where, ibig sabihin sa ang lugar. So, kailangan magbibigay ka ng specific na latitude and longitude. Okay? Saan sila magpo-form? When did Sendong enter the park? Kailan? So, ibig sabihin kung kailan, I needed a month, day, and time. So, sa tingin nyo, kailangan muna nating ilagay ang par. So, we already studied kung saan yung par. You need to go back to your worksheet kung saan may par. Na plot nyo kung saan yung may par yung Philippine Area of Responsibility. Para malaman nyo kung kailan pumasok si Bagyong Sendong sa Philippines. And then, when? When did Sendong leave the par? So, with the help of your Philippine Area of Responsibility then. Masasabi nyo kung nakalabas na ba yung bagyo dun sa area of responsibility ng Philippines. And lastly, in what direction did Sendong move? Pa-north ba to Luzon? Pa-Visayas? Or pa-Mindanao? Okay? And then in conclusion, magbibigay lang po kayo kay teacher ng parang report. Magiging reporter kayo sa inyong conclusion. Example, Sendong form in kung ano yung answer nyo sa number 3 and it enters the par when? Kailan siya nag-enter? Pagsasama-samahin nyo lang yung naging sagot nyo dito to make a report kung saan dumaan, saan namuo, kailan pumasok si Sendong sa Philippine Area of Responsibility. Okay? That will be your work for today. So, work hard and do well. Thank you for listening.